The Trinity Radar also allows you to run the test locally and by locally uh, I mean that you can uh, run the test in your laptop without connected to internet and uh, while running the test the Chrome browser on your laptop will be executed. So let's see it in action. So here I'm going to click on run locally for this test shopping cart 2 and when you click on run test locally then you will see this extra panel which is a browser on the left hand side and right, right hand side we have test runner with all the 17 steps. So what I'm going to do is at step 10 I am going to put a breakpoint. So we have a breakpoint at step number 10. Let's start from the very beginning. Let's start from step 1. So as we start running the test you can see the green check mark which means that those tests are passing. And if you look at the browser panel, you will see certain text being highlighted in yellow. Uh, what it means that is that that text is getting asserted and the individual step is passing. So right now we are at a step number 9. Next one is step number 10. And after running this step, the test should pause. And test has indeed paused because now we are no longer going to step number 11. Um, so this is helpful in debugging because sometimes the tests do not pass and then we want to see why it is not uh, passing. Uh, usually we would be running the test in cloud but uh, debugging is much harder in the cloud because over there the only thing we can go by is the screenshots. So over here we can pause and we can inspect the element and do all sorts of things. So now let me click here and start the test from here. So now we are at step 14 and uh, so far things are looking good. We have a couple of more steps to go. And that's it. The step number 17 which is the last step is done. The test has passed and now that the browser window is gone. So that's a quick uh, demo of uh, a run locally feature of uh, Trinity Radar. Thank you.